In the UK, we have an enormous appetite for chicken. Poultry is the world's fastest growing meat industry, and the more chicken we eat, the greater the chance of contracting Campylobacter. As one of the environmental health officers working at Well and Hatfield Council, I'd like to tell you a little more about Campylobacter and how you can prevent this bacteria making you and your family ill. Campylobacter is the most common type of foodborne illness in the UK, and locally in Well and Hatfield, we see 100 to 150 cases diagnosed every year. Symptoms usually start two to five days after eating the food and include a high temperature, moderate to severe diarrhoea, severe cramping and abdominal pain. Campylobacter can make you seriously ill and across the UK there are about 80 people for whom every year Campylobacter is fatal. But Campylobacter is preventable. Whilst about 70% of indoor chicken flocks are estimated to be infected, consumer control lies in the kitchen. Proper cooking kills Campylobacter. But before your chicken gets to the oven, it's really important to ensure that the food poisoning bacteria on your chicken doesn't get the opportunity to spread around your kitchen. Contrary to popular belief, there's no need to wash your chicken. It's already been hygienically washed in the processing plant. But since we can't see Campylobacter, today we're going to try and demonstrate how the bacteria can be spread easily around your kitchen. When preparing a chicken or any raw meat at home, try and use a designated chopping board and stick to using that same one just for raw meat. Now let's imagine the cocoa powder is the bacteria. The bacteria spreads quickly from the chicken to the chopping board and knife the knife handle and your hands. If you clean your chopping board or surrounding surface with a reusable cleaning cloth, you can see how easily the bacteria can then spread.